How's it going guys? Nick here from Droid Dog with another featured app Friday review for you. Today we're going to be looking at an app called My Homework for Android. My Homework, you open it up and it's a homework planner app, which I thought would be a good thing to do now that the school year is starting and such. You open it up, you've got this main screen, the background's like a piece of lined paper, and it's very simple, easy to figure out. You've got calendar, homework, classes, settings, about, and sync, and then this green bar at the bottom that says access your homework online, which ties in with sync, and I'll talk about that in a minute. Opening up calendar, we can see we just have a standard calendar with a red circle around the date that you choose. Say I want to look at the 29th. Um, it would say there's nothing due on this day, and then you could look at your classes and stuff. It's pretty simple. It just makes it nice to look ahead to see what you have to do. If you go into the homework section, you can add homework, and you can sort it by all class priority and type. Say I wanted to add something. I could call it Junior Thesis Class Thesis Type Project Due Date or that's due time. Due date, let's make it October twenty sixth. Due time. Um twelve PM, that looks good. Priority. Let's bring it high priority and then additional info. Um you can just write additional info here. I'll just write just write big ooh. That was terrible spelling there. Just write big words. All English teachers like big words. And then, if you complete it, you can save it. There it'll be in your homework thing. And then if you complete it, you can just go back into it. Press completed. And there it goes. Now one of the problems that I have with this app is that when you tap on something, there's no visual or haptic feedback to tell you if you've actually tapped on it. Like, there could at least be a button press animation or something, or it vibrates when you tap on something, but honestly you can't tell when you tap on something, and it usually takes like a second or two to open something new. That's just a minor thing, but it kind of gets annoying. If you go into classes, you can see your classes that you have down. These are just some sample classes I put down. And then if you go in, um, history, it's in the gym wing, room 15, Mrs. Sweet. And then this is one of the things that really struck me about this app and made me like it a lot more than a lot of others. Um, you can actually set it to have preset block scheduling, which is really nice for people who have a block schedule rather than a standard time schedule because it's hard to plan out your classes and homework with time schedule apps that don't have block scheduling presets. So this made it really easy to plan out my classes. I would just click a little button and then click one more and I'm all set for that class. Um, if you go into settings, you can see you can change the type of schedule. I set to block schedule like I was just saying. You can change the color of labels. You can clear your homework, clear complete, begin a new semester, or reset your preferences. There's an about page there which just gives you links to their Twitter and Facebook pages and a way to contact. And then there's sync. And you can log in with either your Facebook account or you can sign in with um, the myhomework.com thing. Um, the website, and then you can access your homework online, and so you can use your computer as a planner through the website as well. So say you're not allowed to have your phone in class, you can simply sign in on the website on your computer, write down the homework there, and then it'll sync with your phone so you have it on both. So if you don't have your laptop or your computer, you can see it on your phone. If you don't have your phone, vice versa. Which could be really handy because a lot of schools won't allow kids to have their phones in class, but they will allow laptops in class and stuff, so it's a nice feature. Anyway, that basically wraps up this week's review. I really enjoyed my homework. I tried it out. It seemed to work well, and I'll probably be using it for the upcoming school year. So that's been this week's Featured App Friday review. Be sure to like face like Droid Dog on Facebook, follow us on Google Plus and Twitter, follow myself on Twitter at Zrycon15. Uh, stay tuned to the site for more news, reviews, and editorials, and I'll see you guys later.